massive tectonic shifts on this world have rocked the planet to its core. Gigantic warp-driven tidal waves have battered and beat the beaches and birthing crashes of this planet's otherwise peaceful inhabitants. Now the forces of chaos seek to wipe out the remaining Kroot and take their natural resources for their own. Can the Kroot defend their world? Or will chaos take yet another prize for the Dark Gods? This is 40k in 40 minutes, Kroot Battle! Greetings 40k fans, JT the Voice here welcoming you to this very special episode of 40k in 40 minutes. We proudly present the Kroot! Kroot! The Kroot are here! Krootnik is fielding 1500 points of nothing but Kroot in the special Kroot hunting pack from the new Tau Codex. Basically, I've got a whole new detachment, a whole new range of units to use, and I am excited. Kroot have been the stalwart allies of the Tau Empire for a long time here, and uh, it is high time that they got their, their day in the sun. Nick's got two Kroot War Shapers, two Trail Shapers, and two Flesh Shapers, two squads of Kroot Rampagers, three Krootoks with long guns, two Krootoks with grenade launchers, two Kroot Lone Spears, some Kroot Hounds, two squads, and a whole bunch of Kroot Carnivores. The Kroot as an army play style is very different. You're gonna have to play very objective-y, you're gonna have to play careful, cagey. You kinda need to know right at the right moment of when to charge in, when to stay in the outskirts, the fragile. Nick's got a Kroot Hawk flock enhancement so that nobody will be able to come within 12 inches of that unit. He's got root carved weapons on one of his characters as well to make him extra killy in combat and shooting. And he's got the Bothrods gland. That's gonna help give critical hits on fives to one of his units. Word bearers, I have come to crush this Kroot rebellion. Kroot! This is gonna be so much fun. I can't wait to see what Kroot can do on the tabletop. I brought a whole mess of chaos, a few demons sprinkled in, all under my Demon Prince of Slanesh. Uh, chaos Space Marine Army is gonna come and kill some Kroot. Taika was bringing the allied pain with Chaos Marines and some Nurgle allies. He's got an Astartes Demon Prince Mark Slanesh with wings with the intoxicating elixir, a Master of Possession, a squad of cultists, a squad of legionnaires, two squads of bikers with melt guns and power fists, a 10-man possessed squad, a squad of raptors, a venom crawler, and some warp talents. He's also got a Beast of Nurgle and two squads of plague bearers. Can't wait to see how this goes. This is gonna be a blast. I can't wait to find out how the Kroot fit into the world of Warhammer. There's a whole bunch of other synergies that the Kroot have. For instance, if I shoot at this one target with this guy, that means these guys get bonuses. And if I'm close enough with this guy, I get advanced and charge. And so it's all about positioning and making sure you have the right group in the right place. I think we're gonna get a lesson in how hordes work in 40K today. The Kroot are a very large army. They're gonna take up a lot of space and be able to get around the tabletop to do the work they need to do to score lots and lots and lots of points. So, I gotta kill them as fast as I can. Today's mission is Dawn of War, classic long edge deployment and vital ground. So your home objective is gonna be worth two, no man's land objectives are worth five, and there's only two of them, and your opponent's is worth six. Today's special rule is supply line. So in a four up, players will gain an extra command point if they hold their home objective at the start of the command phase. Kroot, as a race, eat their enemies after they're dead, of course. Um, to gain DNA and special evolutionary advantages and shape their race down certain evolutionary paths. My possessed want to know, do Kroot taste like chicken? He's rampaging. The Kroot are here, Taiko! <laughs> well, I brought some chaos. We're gonna find out how Kroot tastes. Pre-game, it looks like Nick's gonna put a squad of Kroot Hounds, a 10-man squad of Kroot Carnivores, and his three-man strong Rampager unit into Strategic Reserve. His 20-man squads both have a Flesh Shaper and a War Shaper. One 20-man has a Root Carved Weapon on the War Shaper, giving him precision and devastating wounds. And the Flesh Shaper in that squad has Borthrod's Glen, making that unit critical hit on fives in melee. The two 10-man squads each have trail shapers. One 10-man trail shaper has a crude hawk flock on that trail shaper. That means they're gonna ignore cover and lock out reinforcements from approaching within 12 inches of that unit. That should stymie some of Tycho's deep strike shenanigans. Speaking of Tycho, he's got a unit of 10 plague bearers and three nurgling bases in deep strike. His master of possession is with the possessed and the demon prince on her own is gonna walk up and smack stuff. Who gets to deploy first? Oh, that was a five! I saw that! That was a five! You hit that! All I don't right, know if it counts. Fine, fine, no, no. fine. 
Here come the cultists. I have one unit of Crute Warriors led by a Crute Trail Shaper with a relic to deny Deep Strike. Ooh, all right, I'm gonna put down a squad of Raptors. Another unit of Crute Warriors with a Trail Shaper attached to it. These guys are playing cover. Trio of Rampagers, this is the new unit from the Tau Codex, Ooh, they and angry. they are close combat specialists. Excellent. I think these Legionnaires are gonna, they're, they're on the bottom floor, but they're gonna be up here for visual sake. I'm gonna put down a Crute uh, Lone Spear. Now this model isn't quite out yet, so I'm using a proxy model as it. My deployment strategy is gonna be very different than I normally do. <laughs> yeah, right, I'm deploying in the line. Let's kill them all. I'm gonna put a unit of Crutox Riders with long guns right here, I think. I'm gonna put another Lone Spear back here. Okay, let's put down some Possessed running around over here with their Master Possession, Just hanging out under a palm tree. Another unit of the new Crutrox Riders with the Boom Guns. Prince Prince of Slinesh. All right, well, it's down to the Crute themselves, and I have a big blob of 20 Crute going down. So my strategy for deployment here is I'm gonna deploy one big Crute blob on the table, ready to take objectives, be annoying, and I'm gonna put another big blob of Crute in reserves. The plagueiest of plague bearers. I'm gonna take this other big giant 20-man blob of Crute, and they're gonna go over here. Blob of Crute, blob of Crute. A Venom Crawler! Die, Venom Crawler! I will attempt not to die. So one known on terrain, we have a bunch of ruins here. Uh, these will be line of sight blocking. We have a bunch of uh, woods here that are give cover. they give cover, not difficult terrain. Do you want to go first or second? I think that I want to go second. I'm actually totally okay with going second. I am deploying aggressively, but I anticipate if Tyga goes first, he'll be hanging out in the wind with no charges, and then I could charge him on my turn. I think I would like the crew to wander out of their hidey hole so I can destroy them in the hand-to-hand -hand phase and get lots of early charges off, so I'm hoping to go second in the box. I got a three for going first. You are going first, sir. Oh no. Good luck. Good luck to you, Nick. Nick's right flank looks very well protected. That Crute Lone Spear scouting up to get some flanking shots. The center flock of Crute moves up to be a minor pain in Tycho's backside. Nick's made some really interesting moves here. He has moved away from my big damage dealers. That's gonna make it a lot harder to take out Crute as fast as I need to. I've decided to move forward with some of my scout moves. Basically, I'm trying to prep for a second turn charge, but still stay far enough away that it's not too easy for him to charge me this turn. Nick is redeploying a full 20-man squad from his left flank over to his right. This could be a mistake or it could be a win. I can't wait to find out. With all the crude carnivores having the ability to sticky objectives if they hold it in their command phase, it's a great way to be aggressive with your crew and still score. You can press up without too much worry about the objectives you've left behind. Today's episode is brought to you by Deadly Print Studios and their new battle effects for the greater good. This project contains more than 70 3D printable files meticulously designed to bring to life all those futuristic and alien looking weapons you love so much. Included are files for energy effects such as weapons and shields, scenery details, and gaming aids that will bring a kinetic feel to your tabletop games. All files come pre-supported, each tested over a hundred times. We love the effects from Deadly Print. Make sure to check out the link in the description below. Now, back to the action. One of the first things we gotta do before we play this game in Vital Ground, the center objective goes away. Goodbye. The cultists secure his home objective and he's pulled deploy homers and area denial. All right, so I'm gonna move straight up the middle. I need to get some points, and my secondaries push me right into the middle of the map. Is gonna do the deploying of the teleport homer. You guys are smacking the and possessed. Go, Plague Toad, go! I hate this thing. Oh, look at him go! Oh, he's, he's fast. <laughs> he's off to the races. He's like, I want a hippity hoppity over here. <laughs> hey, look, it's an objective. It's mine now. Here come the Plague Bearers. Oh, look at him go! Taking the objective. That's a heck of a plague bearer move. Venom crawler crawls around a bit. Vroom vrooms. Catch a little line of sight. Some crude over that way through the woods. Legionnaires, advance! 
we are hunting for objectives. Should have taken the front line there, forcing you hopefully into some terrible decisions on this side. The Raptors are moving up to threaten the objective? Take the objective? Threaten. Not on the objective. We are not on the objective. And the bikes. Oh, the bikes. Cultists are going for a little hike. You see the woods. I heard there was coconuts. Coconuts. Aggressive as expected, Tycho spends a command point on unnatural swiftness for the Raptors to be able to advance, shoot, and charge. Thank you, Slanesh. I want my sushi. Bring me my sushis. So the crew have sabotaged the sushi stand. This may not stand. We are hungry. Let's go. Let's get them. Let's start with things that can only see one thing. So, the bikers. Tycho doesn't have a ton of shooting, but what he does have is at least strength four. That means he's gonna be wounding the crew infantry on threes or better. So I'm gonna dark pact to give myself, so I'm gonna sustain on fives. Stealth, threes I believe. T3, and I say one of them. Okay. Oh, that's three dead crew. Uh, the leadership for the dark pact, they're very happy about it with the 10. The possessed have deployed teleport homers in the mid table. Demon Prince is gonna plop away with his infernal cannon. I'm gonna take out those big, nasty long guns of the Krutox Riders. Nick's using Hidden Hunters for one command point to make those Krutox untargetable. Oh no, not this stratagem again. Nick, you've disappeared into the shadows. Where'd you go? Prince. I will shoot the big herd of Krut in front of me. <laughs> I can... ba -ba 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 -ba. Wounding on freeze. Five up, invulnerable. Let's do the pistols and plasma into the uh, close squad. The bolt pistols. All hit. Wounding on threes. Uh, two wounds, no minus. Invulnerable save. Save neither. Six up, feel no pain. Save neither, you've killed two more. Melt a gun. And wounds. A lot. I don't save it. Uh, uh, I'm not seven. gonna bother. <laughs> <laughs> more shots into the crew, chewing away at the Birdman. There's only eight dead so far, that's not a lot. More bikes, same unit. Can indeed. Please. Five of invulnerable save. I save one, two go through. Feel the pain. Got one. You only killed one more. Hey, these crude are hardy. Dark pact. I love it. Nurgle cultists. They're going to unload into the close unit of crude. Fives. Wow. Five plus invulnerable save. Six plus feel the pain. Hey, two more sixes. We only killed two. Here comes a frag bomb. D3 plus three. Larius. Five up invulnerable save. Feel no pains. Don't, so you killed two more. You are in heavy, stubborn, rapid fire range. Getting on sixes. Four. That's three wounds. Invulnerable saves. Oh, oh, three. That's oh, a Nick yeah. special. Nick right special. Sorry, Nick. <laughs> 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 they love their dark pact. Right, so this is going to be my Venom Crawler. He's going to open up. He's in the dark pack, unsustained. He's standing on fives. Venom Crawler now. Only two more dead. Dark packed. Five, uh-oh. He takes two mortal wounds. He is down to seven wounds remaining. Nick using Crute Packmate on the Crutox and firing back at the Venom Crawler. What a cool data sheet ability. Saving on fours. I save one, one gets through. Down to five wounds remaining, ouch. Alrighty, I don't know if it's a great move, but I'm doing it anyway. You charge? Charge! The Raptors are gonna charge your crute carnivores that have taken the sushi shack and made a mess of it. Charge face, Raptors make their charge. So as you charge in, I gotta take a Battleshock test. Crute have failed their Battleshock test and won't be able to use any of their cool stratagems. There's a power fist on the champion. I'm gonna Dark Pact, Slaneshi. Strength eight, wounding you on twos. Tycho kills a couple, but the crew are fighting back in full fighting chicken mode, and they've killed three raptors. That's the end of the turn. That was fun. Doesn't help Nick score, though, as he still sits at zero, but Tycho scores three for homers and five for area denial. That takes him up to eight secondary points. Nick's pulled bring it down and no prisoners on his turn one. Both players sit at a command point. His home objective is now stickied thanks to the crew carnivore's ability, but no bonus command point for supply lines. I'm gonna spend one command point. You are. Right away. Those crew are using guerrilla warriors for one command point. They're gonna be able to fall back, still shoot and charge. Now you may have noticed in my movement phase that I have heavily put all my units on one side of the table. This is intentional. 
Most of Tycho's damage dealing heavy hitter army is on the left side of the table. I'm hoping to deal with the rest of his army first and neuter his objective scoring and then be able to deal with his army because if I run headlong into those possessed, those legionnaires, those bikes, the, the demon prince, I'm toast. So, I don't know, it's a strategy. Is it gonna work? Let's find out. Oh, Overwatch cultists, okay. Oh, and they are gonna dark pact. Oh wow, the cultists, Overwatch, that's six dead crew. That was really mean, Tycho. So these Krutox warriors, two of them can get in rapid fire range of that Venom Crawler. These Krutox are actually gonna run to the other side. So the Krutox are smarter than they look. Oh yeah, they're, they're quite intelligent. Shooting phase. We are gonna start with this. Nick is rightfully concerned about those possessed, trying to kill the master possession and pick him up and neuter that squad. Precision. It's a hit. Three. That's a two. Oh no, Kroot Lone Spear fails to hurt the Master of Possession, but he's gonna get reroll hits against that squad now because of the Lone Spear's ability. And then next, because I think he's probably gonna be dead, I can make a free scoop move. So I'm splitting fire with this unit, the War Shaper, with his precision weapon into the character. It's got my chance, I might as well take it. The rest of the guys are gonna shoot into these cultists. All right. Hurrah, give me uh, two shots. Two shots. I need two threes to possibly kill you. I got a three. The Kroot Warshaper is using his once per round to command reroll as a battle tactic and possibly kill that master possession. It's a one! Oh, wow! Oh, it's so close! It's so close! <sighs> Never reroll dice, ever, because it always just gets worse. I ignore a six. I don't. <laughs> All right, down to two. Oh, poor master possession. Flesh Shaper with his scatter gun. Ooh. It's got a shotgun. Hits you twice. <laughs> Wounds you not. Nick, stop rolling like that. <laughs> Double ones. <laughs> this lone spear right here is gonna fire into that venom crawler first to give these guys reroll the hits. Well, anything that shoots at it. I but. duck. <sighs> Strength six. That's a save. Then all of these guns, two are in rapid fire range. Venom crawler goes down to the Krutox riders. My venom crawler, he was my favorite. This unit of Kroot right here, mm -hmm. that is surrounding your two warriors there, we're gonna fire everything into them. Except for the two uh, grenade launchers that are gonna fire into these plague burst guys. Grenades from the grenade launchers. Three hits. Uh, three wounds on the plague bearers. I lose a plague bearer and a half. And the rest of the guns, of course, into these infantry here. I'm okay. And then lastly, the two characters shoot at you. Flesh Shaper shoots his scatter gun, hitting on twos. And wounded do you once, no minus. I take one it. damage. Down to one wound remaining on a raptor. All these crew are gonna fire into this unit of plague bears. Nine guys. Hitting on fours. Oh, ooh, oh. All right, winning on fives. Uh, take four. I uh, save two, three. One guy falls. Kutox Riders are gonna fire both of their repeater cannons into these plague bearers. D6 plus one shot each. Hitting on threes, because of heavy. On threes. Strike six. One wound. One damage. I don't save it. I take a wound. I'm gonna charge things. This crew unit is gonna charge the plague bearers. Plague bearers. Six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Excellent. Here they come. Chargers, chargers everywhere, but only a single miss. Ooh, Nick failed to charge. That's handy. My plague bearers might survive this. These hounds declare charge and they get four, five, six, so they're just gonna. These Krutox aren't try charging. Krutox riders are in! These Krut are gonna charge into these legionnaires right here. So the Krut war shaper first, because he's amazing. Crew characters fail to kill the raptors, but the squad finishes them off. Kill the raptors! Ah! You use my extra three inches, consolidation, to consolidate onto the objective. All right, now this is the one that matters. Can I do it? Can I take Can you Crew do it? Crew towns, hitting on threes. Fives. Saving on fives. Nope, down goes the plague bearer. Yeah, let's go with the flesh shaper. Getting four attacks. The plague bearers get cruder sized real good. Only four of them left, but they kill four crew in return. 
What a fantastic round one, folks. Nick scores three on Bring It Down, four no prisoners. That takes him to seven, eight, seven, Tycho's favor. I think this turn is gonna be really, really hard on the Kroot because there's a lot of stuff that could charge me and kill me. I'm really worried about that Demon Prince, but I've got a lot of reserves yet, so uh, Tycho still has to be careful. The fight is on, it's awesome. The Kroot are charging, I'm charging. Let's get it on, Nick. Nick managed to kick Tycho off most of the objectives, and supply lines will give Tycho an extra command point. He draws assassination and bring it down. Nick's got no monsters or vehicles. However, Tycho scores only two on primary for holding his home objective. 10-7 as we head into the turn. Hops around a little bit. Okay, on to round two. I need to keep this pressure up and get to that crew and start killing them. Killing them, killing them. 12 inches, flying over stuff. Tycho really being aggressive here. He can do a lot in the fight phase. That Demon Prince and those Possessed are really scary. Trail Shaper allows a fallback move of up to D6 inches. That should make that charge much harder. Similarly, this unit has that same ability and it's not limited per one per unit. And so it's all gonna go up and make sure that this objective won't be taken away from me. The Possessed are advancing. Here come the Possessed. Possessed benefiting from unnatural swiftness for a command point, they're gonna be able to charge despite advancing. Tycho down to one. I'm gonna start shooting people. Who would you like to shoot first? Demon Prince. Yeah. Those crude at the back, the carnivores. Yeah. Demon Prince shooting with his dark pack, intoxicating elixir, forces a battle shock test that's passed. Five, oh, ten, we're good. Six, I'm okay. Then Nurgle Bikers are gonna unload into your Crutox. Rampagers, no. and they are going to Dark Pact. Nurgle Mark Bikers into the crew talks. Kill one. Combi Bolters as well. Five up, invulnerable save. Three wounds remaining on this. The bikes are going to Dark Pact and unload into their, their Bolters, and then the Melty Guns into the crew talks. Okay. Another crew talks rider goes down, this one with a repeater gun. The Bolters into your carnivores. Five up and vulnerable save. Feel no pain. Save three. And so this guy back here dies. Oh yeah, dark pack roll. Some crew fall, but here we go. Crew talk shooting back at the bikes and they kill one. Shooting back over here with my cultists. Cultists, dark packing, opening up on the crew and not really killing a lot. And the dark pact is love. Oh wow, Tycho is on fire with his dark pack rolls. Let's move right along to the charge phase. All my possessed are gonna charge your Krutoxy guys in the wood. Possessed into the two Krutox riders. Legionnaires and Beast of Nurgle into the Lone Spear. Demon Prince into your Lone Op character. Four inches away. Roll to four. Demon Prince into the other Lone Spear. Bikes charging your Krut Hounds. Okay. Bikers into the Krut Hounds, they're in. Other bikers, into rampagers, in! Warp Talons fail their charge, Tycho Command rerolls, gets a nine! The Cultists! Cultists, into Kroot! Well, Nick, the battle has been joined. Excellent. You wanted Malie, here we go. Yes. Demon Prince does six mortals on the charge from Demonic Destruction. That is one super dead Lone Spear. Well, let's do a Plank Toad. That's gonna make Nick happy. So we're gonna use our devastating wound, Putrid Appendage. Beast of Nurgle down to the Lone Spear. He's still up. Two heavy Malie weapons. Uh, I am going to Dark Pact uh, for Slanesh for Sustained. Legionnaires, chop down that Lone Spear. That's some chicken sushi. Leadership test for the Legionnaires for Dark Pact. They're okay. Bikers on the charge. I got one power fist. Top right bikers manage to take the Crude Hounds down to a single one remaining. All right, I think I'm gonna go with my cultists next. Three cultists kill and wipe that squad. The Flesh Shaper taking two wounds, yet the War Shaper is using his once per round war leader ability to bring back all 20 Kroot with a free use of join the hunt battle tactic. Nice! Dark packs are starting to take the toll here, but it's not that bad. Only a wounded bike and a couple cultists. Moving That's right along. Let's do some bikers attacking your crew talks. Six up, feel no pain. Got one. You have killed this crew talks. One rampager left. Warp talons doing a number on it, and down it goes. 
Oh, these fights are going so well. This is what I was hoping for. But the Warp Talons take a mortal wound for their trouble. Can you kill these Crutox Riders? We'll start with the mop. Attack! The possessed have downed the Crutox Riders. And the rest of them just pile through the murderous trees. So my Warshaper will attack you. Warshaper attacks the Plague Bearers and kills a bunch. Your turn with the one Plague Bearer. I'll pile, pile in. Pile into the one wound guy, see if you can kill him. Makes sense. Plague Bearer into the Flesh Shaper. Down it goes! All of my units just got mulched. Close combat for the chaos. Uh, no joke. Tycho's discarding bring it down as it's a dead card in this game because Nick has no monsters and no vehicles. He does score assassination for five points. Too bad he couldn't score that more than once. Takes him up to 15 to Nick's seven as we head into Nick's turn two. No supply lines for Nick, but he's pulled behind enemy lines and defend stronghold. Defend stronghold could be tough. He does score two points for holding his home objective and five for holding a no man's land. That gives him seven primary, 15, 14 for Tycho. So in my movement phase, Crute Hound running into Tycho's deployment zone. Warshaper falls back into Tycho's deployment zone. He overwatches and almost kills the Warshaper. Tycho out of command points. Oh, so close. One wound, one wound. We've got a lot of reserves coming in this turn, so this is a tricky point. I think I can clear up the right flank, no problem. I can even make a play for his whole objective. The problem comes, I'm giving up the left-hand side and my home objective. And in that play, I think he wins. If I take his home objective in the right, and he takes the left and my home objective. All that's moved in. Now I'm bringing in some reinforcements. Oh. Crutox Rampagers try to take the left objective, and I'm gonna put a bucket full of Kroot on the home objective and just make them chew right through it. I've got enough command points, I can bring back another group, so uh, let's go for it. Going into the shooting phase. Um, so, defend Stronghold, I don't know if we can do that, but let's find out. I've put a lot of effort into defending my Stronghold. Yeah. Grenades now from Nick, two mortals to the possessed, he's down to one command point. I'm gonna shoot with this unit right here. Half the unit is going to fire into these possessed. The other half of the unit is gonna fire into the cultist right in front of it. On fours. And wound once. I'm okay. Splitting fire here, using trap well laid for his last command point, so everything shooting the possessed will get an extra AP. Nice. The rest of them will fire into the cultists. And... I saved two of them. <laughs> Huzzah! Four go down. These crew right here are gonna fire their two grenade launchers into the cultists, everything else into the plague bear. Okay. The two grenade launchers get three, four, hit on fours. One hit, one wound. Imperium, fails. Then the rifles, bunch of hits. Uh, one, two. I saved two of them, take one, he is still alive. The Flesh Shaper shoots his scatter gun at you. This is the crew Pistol, just one shot. It hits, and it... He's dead. Yeah. The Crutox Riders with their long guns into the Possessed. Crutox Riders manage to wound, but not kill any of the Possess. So you've got one guy with one wound left. I want to kill him because if I kill him, then I get plus one hit everything. So I'm going to start with a 10-man unit first. Nick is using all of his incoming crew to hammer into the Possessed, but not the results he wanted. Extra AP just offsets their cover. Three ups and T6 are a thing. I lose a Possessed. That's all my shooting. Charge face. Crutox rampagers into your legionnaires. I need a nine. You can do it, I Nick. really, really want this. You can do it. I haven't it. seen them do anything. I think it'd be lots of fun. I think so. I want really high numbers so I get lots of mortal wounds. Let's go. Hey! 79! Yeah. Bah! Two make it to engagement range and do three mortal wounds. Can these crude hounds make it in? You need a 10. That's a long charge. Eight, not enough, no. that's okay. These crew into multi-charge into both the Celtus and the bikes. Oh, you really don't wanna do that. Why's that? Cause then you'd kill my guys and I'd be very sad. Crew carnivores charge the bikers and the cultists. Next, my crew talks riders are gonna try to charge your bikes. Crew talks rider, which means that this guy, and then lastly, this unit of crew is gonna charge your bikes as well. More carnivores into the bikers. Fighting. Fighting. Rampagers, never got to do it. Fight phase now, Rampager starts us off. Down goes the Legionnaire to the Lances, and now the Rampager fists. Down they all go. He's stolen that objective. 
The cultists are dead, Jim. OC2 with these guys. It's my objective now. Seven guys into the cultists. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'll be wounding you on twos because you're below half strength. Super duper dead. Down go the cultists. <laughs> 10 guys, so that's 20 dice. All of the attacks hitting on twos, on fives. Take two wounds and lose a bike. Alrighty, and then the characters try to take you out. The bikers go down. Wow, ee, wow, wow. I just killed three units there. That was great. That's that. that. My turn is done. The board is in a very interesting spot. You know, Tycho still has all his big damage deals. All I've killed is Shaft, really. I haven't killed his big, scary units. Huge turn for Nick. Five points from behind enemy lines. He's wisely discarded Defend Stronghold as Tycho is right on his doorstep. That's gonna give him an extra command point. However, 12 secondary, seven primary, 1915 for Nick after round two. I've made him have to make some choices. He really only has this one quarter of the board. I've got the rest of it, so he's gotta come out and play. Come on, Tycho, come play. The water's great. I'm coming. I'm coming. Tycho pulls capture enemy outpost and secure no man's land, and he gets his supplies for an extra command point. Only two primary, he's up to 17. So let's move into can't fail at range. The warp talented bikers look to down those rampagers. I need to keep up the pressure. I'm gonna try and keep on killing Kroot, but I have a funny feeling they're gonna be sneaking on from the back of the map and stealing objectives that I don't want them to steal. So I'm gonna have to do my best uh, and try and take back all these objectives. But I think I might just let them have my home objective. We'll find out. We'll find out. Demon Prince gets unnatural swiftness for one command point. Advance and charge is on the menu. Again, thank you to Slanesh. That is it for movement until my reinforcements come in. Plague Bear's looking to charge some Kroot. It's gonna be an eight inch charge thanks to their demonic instrument. Nurglings are in to swamp the Kroot Hound and some characters. So I will shoot the Krutox Riders with my Demon Prince. Demon Prince shooting ineffective. Bikers into the rampage. Dark Pack melts us, kill one. Rights of possession. Two shots. Master of possession now, Nick saves, but the hazardous check for a Tycho is okay. The charge phase. Let's start with the important one. Uh, let's do both with the prince. Oh no, the demon prince fails. Command reroll, he's in, but now those plague bears are not a gimme charge. I got so distracted, I forgot to belly flop. So he's gonna get out of this one with that objective intact. Frustrating. And here come the plague bears. This is what I really need to say. They need a nine. The Plague Bearer charge has failed. This is huge. Possessed are just charging that one unit just on your command. Yep. Possessed charge of 10 crude. I smell murder. Beasts of Nurgle into the Rampagers. Warp Talons are in with a seven. And then the bikes. Four. The Nurgling charge the Warshaper and Crude Hound needs a nine. That's a 10. So, Warp Talons are gonna go first. I am Dark Packing for Slanish. For Slanish! Ten six ups. The Warp Talons have taken out the Rampagers. Woohoo! Oh, thank you. Six, they're okay. I am going to pound as hard as I can on your Crutox Riders. Demon Prince strikes into the Riders. Seven hits on six attack. That's not bad. Dead Kroot Riders. The possessed have made short work of those Kroot chickens. So you have now unstickied my home objective and taken it. I am murdering Kroot on their home objective. This is how to take the battle to them. Nick's using join the hunt for two command points. He's out of command points, but those 10 Kroot are gonna come back next turn. My Nurglings are attacking your Shaper. <laughs> I hit you on fives. The Nurglings have killed the War Shaper. Five Razor guys, try to attack you. Sixes. Yeah. I take a wound! Take a wound! I am down to nine wounds raining. Capture enemy outpost and secure no man's land for two gives Tycho 23 secondary points, puts him up to 27 to 19 in his half of the turn. Next turn, three to go. Here we go. 
Next, pull extend battle lines and capture enemy outposts. And no roll for supply lines as he does not hold his home objective. He does score five points on primary to take him up to 12. With 12 secondary, that's 24-27 Tycho. Looks like running and scoring is the word of the day. Tycho's just got too much close combat oomph. Nick is really embracing his inner guerrilla warfare expert. And there it is, the command point of guerrilla warriors. That squad is going to be able to shoot and fight that demon prince. These guys just run for it? Yeah, might as well advance them. They're going to advance six inches. This is the turn. I've got to just pile onto the objectives and hope I can hold it. I've got a lot of bodies. I don't have a lot of high strength shooting or high defense weapons. I just got to surround and flood with bodies and hopefully I can t take and hold enough. This, this big unit of, t of 20 is going to advance. This guy goes all the way around. It goes to here. Never has to get within an inch. This big giant unit surrounds you. Basically forming a line blocking bikes coming to get them is what I'm trying to do here. Okay. The reinforced 10 crew steal Tycho's objective. Good use of two command points, that. Then moving on to the shooting phase. The unit of 11 guys with the characters in it of crew crew is gonna shoot into your demon prince. The warshaper with his pistol misses. Yeah, that's it. Let's go about. Prince standing strong. I don't think Nick's got an answer for him. These guys will shoot into the possessed. Possessed take fire. Not much in it though. Got two wounds on him. Couple shots into the big pile of weird guys. Six shots. Seven and sixes. Take two wounds. Take two wounds. Charge phase. Interesting conundrum. Rolling too high could lock him out of charging both units into the demon prince. So the first unit, the one with the characters in it, is gonna roll first. And I need to roll, roll low for the charge. And four, five, six. Then the second unit will try to charge in. Oh, very fortunate. He's got both in. That's all the charges. Let's fight. The unit uh, with the characters in it will fight first. Flesh Shaper has stripped a wound. War Shaper next. Nothing. The rest of the Kroot, you're going to be hitting on twos because you're wounded. Kroot Carnivores, no joy. Next squad, a trap well laid for free. Thanks, War Shaper. And he's going to get AP1 on these attacks. But Tycho, feel no pains them away. I do. <laughs> He's rolled two sixes. <laughs> I'm going to wail away at the unit that has the characters, I guess. I'm going to Dark Pact. Yep. Tycho slaps back into the big unit. 14 Dark Pacted sweep attacks. There's only three regular crew left. Oh, wow. The Dark Pact takes the Demon Prince down to five wounds. That's big. Huge turn for Nick. Eight points on capture enemy outpost. Five points on extend battle lines as he snuck back his home objective. That gives him 25 secondaries, 12 primaries, 37-27 as we head to Tycho's turn four. Tycho's pulled overwhelming force and storm hostile. Those are both eminently doable. Five points on primary takes him up to 32 to Nick's 37. Plague Bear's moving up for a gimme charge. Demon Prince using unnatural swiftness for a command point so the Prince can fall back and still shoot and charge. That is super strong. And then as you moved, and now I'm not engaged, I can use the Trail Shaper's ability to move D6 inches. I can move five inches with that unit. So my bikers are going to unload at your big 20 man that's contesting the objective. Dark Pacting bikers into the 20 crew. That 5-up invuln is coming in hot. Dark Pact. They love it. Master of Possession. No, no super charge on the witch fire. Uh, he hits once. Master of Possession shoots into that 20 man squad, thinning it out. Alrighty. Possess. Charge. The Possess have charged and hit that 20 man squad hard. Warp Talons will charge. Warp Talons jump over the 10-man squad and into the 20-man. That should probably end them. Bikes are going to charge you right in front of them. Five will move. Prince is going to charge both units, I guess. 
Demon Prince has killed three Kroot on the way in. That's some demonic destruction we're here for. Plague Bears are in, and the Nurglings are in as well. The Possessed have wiped the squad on Nick's home objective with a successful Dark Pack, and the Bites have taken the Kroot down to three models left. I will start with Plague Bears. Four Plague Bears into the field, no pain, benefiting Kroot, wiping it, and join the hunt will bring 20 Kroot back. Four more dead in that second squad. Nurglings go into the War Shaper. Down he goes. The Demon Prince has killed the Trail Shaper, and that's it. However, Tycho has scored 10 points on secondaries. Five on Overwhelming Force and five on Storm Hostile Objective. Takes him up to 33 secondary points, seven off max. With his nine primary, that's 42 points. Nick has pulled Tempting Target and Area Denial, and he's chosen to keep them both. Nick scores 6 on primary for holding Tycho's objective. He's at 18 primary, 25 secondary, 43 to 42 for him. So that's, these guys can be battle shocked. Four, six, these guys are battle shocked. Two of them die. <laughs> I got one left. Everything else stay on the board. I'm going to bring in that 20 man squad. The 20 man squad is in, shooting at the Plague Bearers and then needing the charge to steal that objective. This is big. The big 20 man blob of Kroot is gonna fire everything in Demon Prince. 20 man squad opens up into the Demon Prince and strips two wounds from him. Charge. I need a nine. I have very few miniatures left, but I have enough to do it possibly. I need this 20 man to charge another objective. I need them to pass. I've got a command point. Here we go. Oh, that's not enough. I do have a command point. Command reroll. It fails. Oh, no. And the 20 man unit stays here just out of reach. Nick's going to discard tempting target to get a command point, put it back up to two. Nick has scored air denial for three as there's no enemy units within three of the center. Takes him to 28 secondary, 18 primary, 46 to 42 for Nick as we head to Tycho's turn five. Tycho is behind enemy lines and defends Stronghold. These are not ones that are great. He does score 16 primary to jump him out to 58 to 46. If he can score any of his secondaries, it could be a big one. Okay, it's desperate now. Uh, this is neck and neck. I don't know what's happening here. I have to try and score as many points as I can. And these aren't amazing objectives. I am staying over here. I've sticky this objective with my plague bearer. The Plague Bearers move up to threaten the crew that just came in. Tycho's going to score behind enemy lines fairly easily here, but defense stronghold is an absolute stretch. Chase him down. <laughs> Finish him off. Warp Talons move into the deployment zone. You've got three units in my deployment zone. Shooting at your other guy. Melted guns. Nope. Filters. No threes. Dunes. He's dead. Bye. Because I'm not certain you're gonna kill this entire squad. Nick spends two of his command points on join the hunt. That 10 man squad's gonna be coming back. Charging my prince into your group. Come on in. Six, he belly flops for six. Down to 18, crew left. And the plague bearers. <laughs> Prince wailing away. He will dark packed. Sixes! There are nine guys left. All right, here come the plague bearers. Can the plague bearers kill the remaining nine? And threes. So if I save one guy, I've got one guy left. If I have one six, I got two sixes. There are two guys left. Fantastic. <laughs> so the entire squad is wiped, aside from these two guys at the back that are not in combat. Tycho does score five points on behind enemy lines to take him to 38 secondary with 25 primary, 63 points, and he's done scoring. Nick sits at 46, 18 primary, 28 secondary. Storm hostile objective. Okay, okay. Overwhelming force. Nick is discarding for new orders. He's got storm hostile and engage on all fronts. He can do this as long as he passes Battle Shock with that crude squad, and they fail! Oh no! That's absolutely huge! One play left to possibly win this game. I'm putting a unit of 10 crude down here, and I need to make a charge. That's it. 
and not roll too high to base, get here, hold the objective, and be outside of three inches of the side. I've drawn two objectives that are very difficult to pull off. I currently hold that table quarter. I currently hold that table quarter because of these stupid crew failing battle shock and me not having a command point to spend on them. They can't pass. It's literally the single charge roll to win the game. If he gets onto that beast of Nurgle and if he kills it in combat, that is going to win Nick the game. If I make it onto the objective, I've got the objective, I score all my secondaries, I get my engagement all fronts, and I can take this game by like one point. If Nyx makes this charge, this could be the end of them. The end! It's a 10 point roll, that's all he's got. Do I make the charge? It's five, six, seven. I fail the charge, and you have won the game. Whoa, we wow wow, that was so close. My word. Congratulations, the crew came so close! They really did. He does score three points on engage and gets six primary points for holding Tycho's objective. Takes us to 63 to 55. Tycho with the win, 73, 65 with your paint scores. Literally came down to a single dice roll. What a fantastic game, gentlemen. That was a lot of fun to watch. Tycho, thank you so much for playing. Thank you so much for beating me soundly. It's a great game. Can't wait till the next one. This was an amazing fight from beginning to end. I did not know which way this was gonna go. The score was tight. It was a nail biter back and forth. The Kroot, I am liking the Kroot. Close combat abilities, who knew? Charging in with Krutox. I think this is a general's army on that side and uh, I really uh, am interested to see what uh, happens when Nick hammers out all his stratagems and gets it all right. And I think I could, if I play this game again, I think I could do even better. But I've learned a lot and I can't wait Special thanks to this episode's sponsor, Deadly Print Studios. Make sure to check out their completely redesigned line of greater good battle effects. Tested for multiple different 3D printers, fully pre-supported, or you can order them printed right from them. Check out the link in the description below. As always, a big thanks to you for watching. If you enjoy what we do, please consider supporting us through YouTube membership or Patreon. You'll get exclusive releases as well as behind the scenes interviews, early access to most of our shows, and access to our Discord, the most happening 40k community around. That's it for all of us here in the Play On Studios, folks. I've been your host, JT The Voice, saying, until the next time you see us in the far flung future of a grimdark universe, play on! Yeah.